houses. So what we're going to do is take our uh, panorama and we're going to divide it into three parts because basically we're going to be printing our photographs um, like this, like one, two, and three, and put them together so it's like a nice big panorama of, of three shots. So what we're going to do is hit Command N for new, and this is going to be in inches, and we're going 12 by 6. So width is 12, height is 6, resolution 200, and then that's okay. So then what you can do is go to your um, other file that you made, so you can find it. And Command A, Command C, make sure that it's one layer, you, that you've merged the layers together and it's just one layer here. And then you can go back to the new document that you made and hit Command V to paste it. <clears throat> now, we're going to have to resize it. So uh, co command, put in a quarter, hit Command T. <coughs> Hold down the Shift key as you do this. Now, if some of it, like notice here, I'm all the way at the bottom, but it doesn't cover some of my rights area, you need to overlap it and just keep on extending it out. <coughs> um, do not uh, extend it out here and then hit enter and then um, don't just grab it from the sides like and stretch it. Okay, Never, ever do that. Um, so always stretch from the corner and you might have to just overlap and cut off some from the bottom. Okay, so from right there I have it um, filling in my whole space. So now I'm going to divide it into three uh, portrait 4x6 um, areas. So M for marquee and then up here um, what you're going to do is we're going to have instead of style normal it's going to be a fixed size. Because usually for marquee you know you can like choose any size that you want, but we're not going to do any size. We're going to do a fixed size because we know it's going to be the width is 4 IN for inch and the height is 6 IN for that. And then I'm just going to click on the top left corner of the photograph and it will automatically select um, a 4 by 6 um, part. And this is going to be my first one. So then I'm going to go to image and then crop. Okay, And then command S to save it. Uh, if you haven't saved it already, you could um, panel shots. Okay, and then after you save the Photoshop file, we need to save them as JPEGs, each of these three shots. So this is going to be a JPEG, and then I can just put like one, or you could actually spell one panel, and then I can save that. Okay. And then um, what you're going to do is undo, hit Command Z, and then actually Command uh, Option Z uh, will continue to undo, and then you can get to the original. So next, you're going to select the marquee and click right to the um, right of the what they're called marching ants, and then it'll select the middle part. So then it'll go to Image and then Crop. And then again, file, save as, and then we'll call this like two panel. Okay, and again, don't save it as a JPEG, save it as a J, um, don't save it as a PS, save it as a JPEG. And maximum quality, command option Z. And one more time, click on the marquee on the right side, and then image crop, file, save as, and three. Panel, and that's going to be a JPEG. Okay, so then when I'm done, <clears throat> I'm going to have uh, all three of my layers there. So there's one, there's two, and okay, and then this is my Photoshop file.